This top five video from CES 2016 is brought to you by Mastrop. Our first top five drone of CES is the Ehang 184 Autonomous Aerial Vehicle. I mean, holy crap. The thing can actually fit a passenger inside. It flies way higher than your average consumer drone, but much lower than a jetliner at about 11,000 feet and can go 60 miles per hour for about 23 minutes. You don't need any previous flying experience. You just tell it to take off or land through a mobile app and a computer takes care of the rest. Like a commercial airplane, it has redundancies built in such as multiple power delivery systems and an auto land feature if something goes wrong and encryption is built into the flight system to keep attackers from sabotaging your flight path. It's connected to an Ehang command center that monitors every 184 drone in flight, kind of like air traffic control. And right now, the biggest hurdle is approval from authorities like the FAA, but Ehang says it's uh, working with government agencies to get this thing off the ground, so to speak. It'll cost probably somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000, so you can choose between this thing, a house, or going to medical school. The Parrot Disco is not a quadcopter. It's got a sleek aesthetic and looks like an airplane with wings. It's powered by a propeller, and this, combined with the wings, uses less energy than trying to power up a bunch of spinning blades. It adds up to 45 minutes of total flight time, and it is pretty darn fast, capable of 50 mile per hour flight. It features automatic takeoff, you just throw it and it starts flying, meaning that there's no real learning curve, and piloting is just a matter of telling it where you want it to go or turn to. Adjustments to make the thing stay airborne are handled automatically, and it's expected to be available later this year. Our third drone continues our trend of getting smaller and smaller with the PowerUp FPV. This is another winged design drone, except that it's essentially a paper airplane that you can fly, and we actually have covered PowerUp's previous product before, for more than five seconds and see where it's going. It only weighs two ounces and is made from thick paper and powered by a pair of propellers. You do have to fold it yourself, which is either a pain or fun for the DIY included folks, and it comes with a head-mounted display thing to turn piloting into a VR experience simply by sliding in your smartphone. It's got an autopilot feature to keep the plane in the air and can go up to 20 miles per hour with 10 hours of battery life. PowerUp is offering a racing package that comes with six drones and head-mounted displays for a thousand bucks, or you can get just one for $180. It's expected to be available in June. The unique Typhoon H was featured by Intel at CES. Why? Because it has an Intel RealSense camera. So Intel has been pushing RealSense pretty heavily in laptops and other devices. Now it's in a drone. The RealSense cameras are completely separate from the main camera, which shoots 4K video, by the way, and allows the Typhoon to avoid objects and obstacles automatically without any input from the user. Unique and Intel are touting this as being more accurate than other forms of collision detection that we've already seen in drones. The only issue is that at $1799, uh, <laughs> for the base model, <laughs> It's not exactly cheap, and the version with RealSense collision avoidance will cost more. Finally, we've got the Fly, one of the strangest looking drones at the show as it looks like a floating white sphere or ball. Why? Well, the moving parts are all enclosed in a plastic ball for safety for indoor use being the main focus. It's very light as well, only one pound, though it does look heavier, making it good for kids or someone who just doesn't want to worry too much about damaging their stuff in the event of a collision. It only features 10 minutes of flight time, but it's surprisingly nimble given the shape, as long as you're willing to pay $1,200 for it. This drone video was brought to you by Mastrop. If you don't know what Mastrop is, basically it's a great place to get all kinds of cool stuff, including drones. Yeah, that's right, drones. The thing this video was about for a discount off their regular retail prices. All you have to do is head over to drawdops slash Linus dash CES dash DJI. Don't worry, we have that linked in the video description. And you can check out not only cool deals on Mastrop simply by signing up, but you can also enter a giveaway right now for the DJI Phantom 3 Standard. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is sign up for Mastrop and request the DJI Phantom 3 on the drop page by clicking the request button. That's how this thing works. You basically can request things to have a drop, and if lots of people request it, then they'll get it. And then if lots of people commit to buy it, the price goes lower. That's the whole 
mask drop thing. So anyway, that'll enter you in the giveaway and also give you a notification for when that drone gets dropped and other similar drones. So again, that's drop slash Linus dash CES dash DJI. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss any of our awesome content, and we will see you next time.